Hello everyone and welcome to another Top 5 Records video and today I'm taking a closer look at what for me is the most interesting Record Store Day release of this year. And I have it here. Taylor Swift's latest release, Folklore, The Long Pond Studio Sessions. Now, what can we expect from this Record Store Day release? Basically, this but live in a studio. And what means live in a studio? I always think that's a tough question because you can do a live session in a studio, but if there is no audience, what is the live feel? Now, she could do other takes. So is it really live? Live is also the tension of uh, things being able to go wrong in front of an audience. Nevertheless, when you put this on, you can hear a certain tension in Taylor Swift's voice. She does not sing this as relaxed as she does on this album. And that makes this for me quite the interesting release. As a matter of fact, it goes beyond that because I think Folklore is a beautiful album and one of the best pop albums, pop, uh, I wouldn't even call it country or folk, pop folk perhaps, one of the best albums of the last 10 years to be quite frank with this album i think she improved on it why it's more direct she's in a studio with two other musicians and it's a very tiny intimate situation and that is really what makes these songs count even more what i noticed at first is her ability as a vocalist, she is singing this beautifully. She sings this with beautiful, great uh, power. There is more energy and it feels somewhat more urgent than on the record. I, I love the record. I, I, I love the, the album. But this is qu quite something, quite something there. It starts off uh, with the one. Um, and the first thing you notice is the, the, the quality of the voice is beautiful. It is just a very beautifully good, clear recorded uh, situation. Um, and I really, really enjoy it. It's direct, sincere. It brings very close to what her voice is all about. And that is gorgeous. Um, it's just more exciting. I think it's even more exciting than the uh, other one. Uh, the second song, Cardigan. Uh, real good piano driven song and that's also one of the things on this album the the quality of the instruments the piano has such a beautiful tone it's so beautifully intimate and there are so many great many great songs here the last great american dynasty i mean she shows that she is a true and good storyteller here it, it is really impressive she can carry the song with her voice but also with un her understanding i mean she is a storyteller I mean, that's what I really noticed for the first time on this version. She is a storyteller. Um, there are so many great things. Uh, Exile uh, with Bon Iver, which is... Um, I, I love the voices. I mean, it is such a record of strong, strong voices, specifically this one. Uh, what more, What else? Um, I'd like to... Mirable. Um, the, are these beautiful highs in her voice. It is just... <laughs> Really, really good. Brilliantly sung. As a vocalist, this... I think this is so much better than what I've heard from her live shows. I mean, she's in such a total control. It's very exciting to hear her sing here. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, I mean, there are, there are so many great songs here. Um, Elicit Affairs. Yeah, let's talk about it. August as well. August is really good. Elizabeth Affairs is really good. It's quite an accomplishment. Elizabeth Affairs, I think it's quite a compliment. Uh, first of all, the beautiful sound quality of how these instruments get together. Again, I was just... I, it, I got was hooked. That's right about that. I was hooked by the way this sounds. Um, wonderful, wonderful, beautiful guitar work. Uh, rhythm guitar. Uh, it's It's... It, it's quite something. What else? <sighs> Betty was real good. Hoax is real good. Lakes is real good. So many great, great songs. And in such a 
beautiful performance. I mean, I love this album. I love I, I, the originals really good, but this is quite the record store day release treat. This is live studio magic. I love it. So, what do you think? Do you like this year's record store day release by Taylor Swift? Do you like this album? Leave a comment below. See you in the next video. Oh yeah, and should I do another Taylor Swift video like uh, Evermore? Leave a comment below if you think so. I'd love to see you in the next video. Bye.